Hello, hi, and welcome to TNI. This is Shreya Veronica. Today, we are here with Dr. DVK Vasudevan, who is also known as Voilin Vasu. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you, sir? How I'm good. Sir, sir yeah. um, you have been an inspiration to a lot of people. You've been teaching music, and you're well known to in the uh, Indian classical art, artist community. So, firstly, I would want to understand about your journey so far, sir. First, I would like to thank for uh, TNI yeah. uh, for giving me this opportunity to interact with the public yeah. uh, and share my views. So the journey means what journey because the journey is so long. Yeah. So uh, it's not very smooth or uh, single shot like uh, everyone. I have completed my tenth okay. class and completed my intermediate yeah. and I have done my engineering yeah. and uh, uh, later I topped the uh, you know branch okay. and uh, I have completed. Uh, I got a job in multinational company. Mm -hmm. Then I have. Uh, resigned there and I dedicated myself to music. music okay. All these things are not there in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, it's a very big journey. Okay. So, you know, I have not been to any school. Okay. So, I was actually, uh, you know, we were actually lower middle class family. Okay. So, I, you know, st uh, struggling to exist. Okay. So, and not getting any chance to even go to a government school. Okay. So, finding myself that where I can go mm -hmm. uh, with a family that actually wanted to support, but there are not many opportunities in the That's society. Yeah. But they are all, uh, you know, uh, having a very good kind of commitment and character uh, towards life. Yeah. So, how to live that they taught. Okay. And uh, they actually uh, encouraged me to find my own way. So that's why uh, I tried to, f uh, I could find music college, music college as my uh, destination okay. to learn music because uh, that is free. <laughs> okay. So I used to walk from home to college. Mm -hmm. I was not having slippers because okay. even, even chapels to wear. So that kind of uh, situation, I should not actually tell those kind of things. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, you know, the journey is not too, so smooth, sm enough, uh, too yeah. smooth, but I, I, maybe the journey has made me to learn something. Okay. So that mm, the, I can say that that is an opportunity for me to uh, find opportunities mm -hmm. uh, and to prove myself. Mm -hmm. So... I have joined in music college where I have done my diploma. That mm -hmm. diploma is almost six years. Okay. So four years a certificate and two years diploma. Mm -hmm. Later I have done my teacher training. Mm -hmm. Later uh, simultaneously I used to I uh, I'm very fond of studies. Mm -hmm. I wanted to uh, study. Mm -hmm. I wanted to complete my tenth class and I wanted to be on par with other students. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, so to prove myself. Okay. So, I have completed my BCom and later uh, I immediately I got a job in University of Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. So, I have been doing that job for the past 20 years. Yeah. So, after joining, I have done my MA Music and MS Information Technology mm -hmm. and later I have done my PhD and I have done my 8th grade in uh, Western Music from Trinity College London. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, this kind of... Uh, and. Uh, yeah, a lot of things I I may be messing up, yeah. <laughs> so it may it may confuse you. Yeah. So uh, m basically, music is my uh, you know major focus, and I understood that music is not just an art, art. and it is a, a lifestyle where you can use music as an instrument to see the world in its true sense. Yeah. So that's what I have learned. Uh, uh, over all these years. Okay. So okay. They, uh, for the past 30 years of my journey, I could see only that that I I am getting an ability to know that what I don't know. Yeah. It's not like that what I know. Mm -hmm. And 
i can i uh, understood that okay you can see anything through any anything uh you need to choose that what you want to uh, choose as an uh, as a window to see the remaining part of the existence okay so from learning music to now teaching students music how has it been sir and you know how do you think you know the western or the classical music has evolved over the years you know when we were learning we were not having uh, that much information mm -hmm. uh, and we were not even having uh, many choices on what to be learned so yeah. for me you so there is there there was no choice for me except yeah. going to the music college mm -hmm. and uh, you can choose only what are there in that music college uh, there is vocal mm -hmm. violin veena mm -hmm. and uh, i thought that violin is a little bit you know handy and yeah. you can even carry it easily mm -hmm. and it can be used as an accompaniment and a solo mm -hmm. instrument so there may be some opportunities like that we started learning mm -hmm. and uh, when we were uh, actually learning uh, with our guru so because of oh, that less technological less advancement at that time mm -hmm. so we were not having any uh, thing to record music mm -hmm. uh, so that i can listen to it later mm -hmm. and uh, uh, practice mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, that also make sure that you have to concentrate in the class so if you miss the class or if you miss that concentration in the class then you may be bound to forget the lesson and in, in the next class you may not be able to perform then automatically guru will not accept that yes. so the because of the technology the education and the teaching and learning things also are, are you know progressing mm -hmm. um these days that is uh, from technology side even uh, teaching music teaching classical music these things are also uh, evolving yeah. and progressing positively yeah. so we were not having many questions uh, when we were learning but as it i wanted to be a good teacher so that makes me to understand that what things i need to learn mm -hmm. so whatever i have learned as a student is lesser than whatever i have learned as a teacher okay so while teaching students then before teaching student i i try to understand that whether I, will i be able to communicate what i just exactly okay. i wanted to communicate to yes. and is it the best way or is there any is there any better way than this to yeah. communicate them yeah. and uh, you know uh, if i am learning then i can learn anything but if mm -hmm. i am teaching then i need to filter and i can only teach that what i understood well yes so for that uh, previously i used to uh, and, and i was not used to actually understand the lyrics properly mm -hmm. and the musical phrasing because performance people listen and if they are, uh, are happy then they will accept me yeah. but as a teacher there is a bigger role and bigger responsibility mm -hmm. so yeah that is my view okay. uh, towards teaching okay and uh, so it because of that i am i am i feel that i am improving myself okay so you were talking about the gurus now and then can you talk a little about your gurus also your uh, i mean uh, who have taught you music yes, yes. your inspirations and everything yeah so fortunately uh, that uh, i i am not aware whether i am good or bad but i got very good gurus <laughs> yeah so uh, you know i have joined in music college where uh, i there are lecturers in the music college so i was put under uh, one guru called vvl narsimha rao garu hmm. so i can i can say that if the first god i met is my first guru okay. after my parents so mm -hmm. first place always uh you know it is parents mm -hmm. and next is that way when i entered into music college and i was mm -hmm. put under vvl narsimha rao garu okay he actually was very good and mm -hmm. very kind and he should treat me like his son okay. so they were not having children yeah. and uh, uh, he used to teach like uh, 
you know where if uh, after his lesson if we learn and practice and play then we used to play like him okay so that means how uh, clearly he uh, he taught us That's so uh, i have i have learned uh, almost 3 4 years mm-hmm. so i can say uh, one incident about his mindset and uh, uh, how great uh, guru he is Mm-hmm. so you know that he also we uh, he understood that okay we came i came from a very lower middle class family mm-hmm. we were not having money yeah. and i was not going to school mm-hmm. so he understood that and he one day he just told me that uh, are uh, uh, why don't you come home and learn mm-hmm. so you are coming to music college Mm-hmm. so you are, you are learning i used to go to music college at 7 o'clock and okay. up to 9:30 they open the gates after that they close and mm-hmm. i used to there full time because i was not having any other activity yeah. i used to concentrate on uh, only music mm-hmm. and practice and he understood that and he said that okay come home i will also i teach you mm-hmm. so then uh, the smart uh, guy in me mm-hmm. so he woke up and thought that okay if i go to my guru mm-hmm. he will ask the money Oh, for music, going to school only i was not having money mm. if i take tuition from him then i cannot pay money yeah so then i kept quiet like that okay. and he also did not ask because he did not uh, you know enforce me to uh, do this mm. so it um, almost uh, two years went away mm. like that i used to go to music college learn and everything and one fine day again he called me and asked mm-hmm. are i have asked you to come home why didn't you do that he just asked then i have to give an answer right before that only he said that you thought that i will ask for i will ask money right <laughs> so he just said hmm. i am not the person like that okay so i have a job for me i called you to teach to, to, to teach you mm-hmm. and i found that you can do something good for the society mm-hmm. that's why i called you Okay. Then on that day itself, I was actually shifted to his home. Okay. So I took everything and uh, just kept at his home and mm-hmm. stayed at his home for two, two, three years okay. continuously. Means like uh, my home used to be some three, four kilometers away from mm-hmm. his home. I used to go uh, home for eating food. Okay. So I was. లిటిల్ బిట్ యూనో మొహమాటం అంటారు కదా అలాగా ఉండేది అందుకని మ్యూజిక్ కాలేజ్ అయిపోగానే ఇంటికి వెళ్ళి గో హోమ్ అండ్ హ్యావ్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ స్లీప్ ఎట్ మై గురూస్ ప్లేస్ సో దట్ ఐ కెన్ గెట్ అప్ ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ అట్ ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ హీస్ టు వర్కర్స్ అప్ అట్ ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ అండ్ హీస్ టు గివ్ గివ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఫోర్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ ఫోర్ టు సిక్స్ ప్రాక్టీస్ సెవెన్ టు నైన్ థర్టీ మ్యూజిక్ కాలేజ్ 10 to 12 practice okay. again 2 hours break 2:30 to 5 o'clock again okay. music college 5 o'clock go to home 7 o'clock come back to guru's place okay. and spend some time and 9 o'clock sleep 4 o'clock okay. so like that so uh, since you said 4 o'clock in the morning you used to wake up and do the practice so how important it is you know these early morning tricks sir usually in everything we usually say that you know 4 o'clock in the morning if you wake up and do something that you know is very useful throughout the day it, it, does that apply to music as well not music it is, it, it is applicable for everything okay so, so how did it work for you also i wanted to know no fa- first thing is you know logically you know yeah. you will have a very fresh mind yes. so even if you if you listen to any bad news mm. so you, you know that the thought will be uh, revolving in your mind you are not happy and so if you take a break yeah. and if you just have a short nap of 5 minutes or 10 minutes mm. then you just you will be forgetting that a little bit and you will be better than what uh, you are what yeah. you were so uh, this kind of gap mm-hmm. is giving you some kind of fresh mind yeah. so after the sleep Mm-hmm. definitely you will have better better uh, you know free mind or the fresh mind mm-hmm. that is one and uh, if you get up at 9 o'clock mm-hmm. at this point of time i get at least 100 messages mm-hmm. 
so it will distract me even at the those times also uh, you know when you are able to meet a lot of people you will have a lot of distractions That's so if you wanted to really work on something mm -hmm. so the time you will have less uh, interferences and disturbances mm -hmm. is the early morning time okay so if you can really work mm -hmm. at that time you will definitely see wonders but you know some people work late night yeah, like till 1 o'clock they may not be able to get up true. so i am not talking about those kind of yeah. scenarios but even if i sleep at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock mm -hmm. i get up at 4 or 5 uh, but you know that will have some impact on your health, health. too yeah. uh, but to work early morning is the best, best time. time and if you can manage go to bed early and get up early okay so so regarding the practice sessions also like you know to become perfect in any kind of instrument be it violin sitar any indian classical instrument how much of practice is needed for a person sir no perfection is uh, you know relative thing as yeah. you said that you know you, how efficient you are yes how how efficient you are and uh, uh, how much time mm -hmm. you are able to dedicate to that particular uh, you know activity no. So, for music, people come to me and ask that, sir, how much you charge okay. and how many days it will take to uh, learn violin. Yeah. So, first thing, charge is secondary thing that you keep okay. aside because we can't buy music with money. That's true. So, it is just a, just something to uh, you know, buy time. Yeah. So, for music, they say that first you should not ask me that how many hours, mm -hmm. how many days, how many months. No. If you are ready to ask me how many years, then I start giving my answers. Okay. So then they ask that, sir, why then only music and all these things? Yeah. Years, sir. <laughs> so how? So they ask, they yeah. ask that. My question is that you have been learning this mathematics from your kindergarten. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, have yeah. written and 2 years kindergarten, yeah. 10 years, you know, uh, first class to 10th, 10th class, class, then 2 years plus 2, yes. and next engineering, yeah. 4 years, yeah. then after that, we don't know where we will use A plus B whole square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which can be, you can see, you can see the mathematics, yeah. you can write, yes. you can write 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Yeah. So, A plus B whole square we can use. Yeah. So, it is to actually, uh, you know, when uh, you wanted to use uh, you know, A square plus B square plus 2AB. If, yeah. you, if you wanted to know the product of that thing, then yeah. use this formula. Yeah. So, it means 2 square mm -hmm. plus 3 square plus 2 plus 2 into 3 into 2. Yeah. So that is the, if you want to know the um, output of that, you use this formula, A plus B whole square. Yeah. So like that, there are many things that we learn for years yeah. that you can actually see and logically understand it. Uh, you spend years, but you don't understand completely. That's true. But an art kind like uh, music, which you cannot see, mm -hmm. you want it to be, uh, you know, uh, perfect yourself in days. That's so, true. So it will take years. Like you need to every day practice mm -hmm. and till you get it. Maybe four to six years minimum you need to spend. Then people say oh, more four to six years time to learn this. Yeah. So all these things because that you are only interested in output. You are not enjoying your learning. You are not practicing. Yeah. So if you if you if you enjoy your practice then the time flies. Yeah. So when I joined in music college as a first year student, I used to look at second year students like dreaming of, like when can I get into at least second year to say that <laughs> I am the junior most in the college. Okay. So then I have completed second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. After completing six years, I have completed 25 more years. <laughs> so it's just if you are interested, mm -hmm. then you take it up. Don't think that how many days it will take. It is your interest. It is That's there true. in your mind. Yeah. So you just try to practice with the right guidance mm. till you get it in at least 
you can decently play in four to six years time. Okay. Yeah. But that is very less time. Yeah. As per me. Oh, okay. So, but you can anyone can do it. Every day is a learning. If yes. But one should one should like it. Yeah. So otherwise, I I am only learning to play for my friends' birthday, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> I wanted to learn crash course <laughs> forty days. Then that you know, doesn't work. That that will work to be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> you will make your friends' birthday a disaster. <laughs> okay, that's a nice. You can answer. play better music, right? Yeah. That's so true. really work for many years and yeah. show a great product to your friend. Yeah, that's true. So that is the main problem. Everyone want that because of that demand. Even the institute saying that okay, three months course, four months course, three mm-hmm. years course, guitar free, violin free. Mm-hmm. So those kind of things, maybe they may be, you know, interesting for the people to get mm-hmm. themselves introduced to the music, okay. but not to learn and excel. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, classical music in cinemas nowadays, how do you think it is being used? Is it in your perspective? Do you think they are using it correctly, or you know? no uh let me give you a you know some information about how the music in movies mm-hmm. you know we the music uh, the classical form of music we, logically we say that it has taken from folk art forms yeah. and you know historically or mythologically we have vedas from that samaveda we got this classical music and all mm-hmm. so anything that you have to use in your profession mm-hmm. you should be trained in that so if you are uh, in europe so you learn western music yes. if you are in india then you learn that jayadev ashtapadis and all those things whatever we used to sing or learn some 3 uh, 500 600 years ago 1000 years ago like that so the people who have uh, learned that mm-hmm. classical form of music Uh, one of our few of them uh, worked for movies too mm-hmm. so later uh, in the british time and uh, after that so mm-hmm. people got exposed to western music too yes. so i got uh, uh, two things like i got some kind of classical indian classical, classical music, music and also western classical western, music yeah. so classical is not a right word i will mm-hmm. tell you that also okay so these two things i i know and i found that work this mixing these two also will have a very good feel okay. so the people like uh, elai raja mm. they have been experimenting and later ya yeah, rehman yeah. so there is nothing harm and sometimes you may be giving very fresh music and it is appealing to public mm. so everything good yeah. so only the objection is that abusing the art form mm-hmm. and uh, not uh, using it in right uh, spirit Okay. so few things like you know people take uh, the actual carnatic tunes mm-hmm. and they use as it is in movies mm-hmm. uh, with uh, different lyrics so that is wrong yeah. and they don't even give credit yeah. to that that's true so you know some in some movie uh, the music director they have taken mahaganapatim మహాగణపతి మనసమరామి దిస్ ఇస్ ద సాంగ్ ఇట్ హెస్ బీన్ కంపోజ్డ్ బై ముత్తుస్వామి దీక్షిత్ ఆర్ ఫ్యూ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ ఎగో సో హీ హెస్ టేకన్ దట్ చెన్నై చంద్రమాత నాత నానా సో వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ సో దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ అట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ దే హ్యావ్ యూజ్ అండ్ దే హ్యావ్ యూజ్ సోగ సుచూడత రమ నీ సోగ సుచూడ తరమ నీ సోగ సుచూడ తరమ వాట్ హియర్ ద కంపోజర్ ఇస్ సేయింగ్ నిగ నిగమనుచు కపోల యుగముచే నిరయు మోము సోగ సుచూడ తరమ చిరునవ్వ ముంగురులో మరి కన్నులతేటు వర త్యాగ రాజార్చిత వందనీయ ఇటు వంటి సుగ సుచూడత రమ వాట్ ఈస్ సేయింగ్ చిరునవ్వో ముంగురులో మరి కన్నుల తేటో సో ఫ్రెష్ ఐస్ సో ఇవన్నీ కలిసినటువంటి వర త్యాగరాజార్చిత సో దోస్ హూ 
prayed by tyagaraja ever mm. lord rama yeah so he the poet is talking about lord rama mm. and you use the same music and same song in a romantic scene in a movies yeah. like you know hero and heroine hero is saying that sagar sagar dharma same music okay. same thing yeah so how it is just one they don't even say that okay this is taken from tyagaraja's so on so kruti so yeah. it is not to hurt anyone no there is no even a disclaimer to yeah and people only think that uh, you know this is the right composition okay Yamahanagari, Kalakatta, Puri. Is that you know? Yes. Like one of the popular movies of Megastar Chiranjeevi. Yes. What is that? Raghuvamsa Sudhambudhi Chandrasri. Okay. Raghuvamsa Sudhambudhi Chandrasri is from Lord Rama. It is like, you know, uh, one of the composer's okay. composition. So they have just lifted it yeah. and used it in the movie. And the, they didn't even... you know acknowledge that okay, this is someone's composition this kind of things are not good yeah so use classical music and introduce classical music because this is organic yes when you say that organic is uh, very good for our health yeah. then if you can use that music in movies or anything it is good use judiciously yeah and that's it yeah sir uh, my next question is about uh, you know we have artists all around the world western classical so how would you differentiate between the western and classical music since you have also learnt western music mm. uh, and you have been learning classical music as well so how would you differentiate both no, differentiate in the sense that you want uh, my opinion or yeah, i want your opinion your perspective about you know how do you see western and classical music in a different ways yeah But there is there is nothing you know mystic in uh, any forms of the music mm-hmm. if you really want it to understand it so everyone has a philosophy yeah so you have your own thought i have my own thought so based on the social economical mm-hmm. cultural uh, you know geographical differences yeah things evolve yes that's so true. you know that wow, when when we started this then i asked that would you like to have coffee yes then you said that <laughs> okay it is hot yeah. it is better having a cool drink yes that's true so it is true. a situation right yeah. even Uh, when people who are there in the west in cold countries and uh, they will develop the music that is suitable for them mm-hmm. so like that you you can see that you know middle east they have different kind of sounding yeah. so in the west they have different sound of uh, the different kind of sounding in india based on the philosophy based on the spiritual understanding so based on our uh, belief systems we developed our own music yeah. so if we take the west and india in the west mm mm-hmm. uh, you know the classical music yeah uh, why did it or why we call that as classical music yeah. do you know that one mm-hmm. so you know that there are periods uh, you know uh, certain uh, uh, in the west Mm-hmm. you know this this period this period like yes, that yes yes so do you know any any kind of uh, periods there uh, just a few sir here and there tell me one yeah. or two <laughs> sir <laughs> <laughs> no no just a, it's it's just to sir we, we we usually do it as a d b c and everything no, right that is yeah. one or, uh, generally yeah. you know mogal period something like yes, that yes no? yes the mogal era and oh, then like that in the west also there are okay periods oh, right yeah so there is a period called classical period okay so classical the music award in that period is called as classical music so okay. the classical music there is nothing to do with indian music oh. so there is no classical music at all okay so the music so you know beethoven mm-hmm. mozart bach mm-hmm. all these great composers in the western music mm-hmm. they were there in the classical period okay so you know moonlight sonata or whatever the great compositions they yes. have composed so that is classical music we are also trying to mimic that and say that classical music classical music there is no classical music in india at mm-hmm. all so yeah. we have only raga music yeah. 
we are using ragas and creating that music mm -hmm. our traditional music sampradaya sangeetam mm -hmm. our folk music our devotional music mm -hmm. that kind of so the classical music is the music that has evolved in that uh, classical period mm -hmm. so the main difference between indian music and western music mm -hmm. is so actual if they when they uh, create music they compose music okay they compose music without lyrics you know we we can say that you know rr in movies mm -hmm. uh, re recording they say that bag, yeah. bgm background, yes, background music background music what they do that they try to glorify the situation or you know more sensible yeah. make the situation more sensible. sensible like if there is a war scene that 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 they mm -hmm. make it more louder mm -hmm. less loud mm -hmm. or by using the tricks they actually uh, you know come try to communicate with only music there is no lyrics mm -hmm. for doing that they have harmony and dynamics you know dynamics is the volume loud or less yes. hey yeah. if you say like that then the impact is hey hello how are you yeah. different yeah so and harmony uh, having more uh, sounds together mm -hmm. so by using these things they used to communicate mm -hmm. uh, you try to listen to those pieces then they have you know moonlight sonata is the composition uh, by bitovin mm -hmm. uh, he composed it to actually make her make his mother experience the make his blind mother experience mm -hmm. the moonlight okay so bitovin is a composer mm -hmm. so he he has composed that music okay so there is there are no lyrics so if you just play music here we have we try to communicate both music and mm -hmm. uh, you know literature okay. so that is the main thing and our philosophies are different yeah so we use um, more spiritualism and devotion in classical mm -hmm. art form okay uh, because through that we get salvation like that the feelings are there yeah so and based on the raga system mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of scales so not just mere scales we have a lot of characteristics to those scales mm -hmm. so yeah extempore music mm -hmm. uh, we called it as we call it as manodharma sangeetam mm -hmm. these are all the some uh, some unique features in uh, classical music so okay. again <laughs> the raga music or indian music okay. and in the western music the philosophy is different mm -hmm. and their way of uh, composing is different mm -hmm. okay so sir, sir uh, coming to the controversial topic also it's like it has been in headlines since the la yesterday i guess so i would want to know your opinion about this whole controversy about tm krishna sir no uh, controversy means regarding the sangeeta kala nidhi yes, award the, and also if you know anything like you know that you know this award shouldn't have been given to him like everyone has been talking about it your opinion about it see one thing is that music academy is saying mm -hmm. that this award is given to a person who is having excellence in music yeah so that's why we have given this to we have announced this to tm krishna yes so for that thing i am okay okay right because if they are only looking at his musical excellency mm -hmm. so he is one of the greatest uh, artists yeah. so there is no doubt about it yeah. but here the doubt uh, is on music academy yes sometimes they say that okay we we look at their contribution in different areas mm -hmm. and we give that music now they are saying that uh we are only looking at musical excellence mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the same music academy is saying uh, uh, have not invited the tm krishna garu to music academy to perform for a long time mm -hmm. and the people think is that there are a lot of people who have been uh, uh, to music academy continuously mm -hmm. uh, and their question is like how you got this much of love towards tm krishna all of a sudden okay yeah one is that mm. and second thing is that so we believe in something and uh, 
he believes in some something else hmm. and which is actually not in line with the tradition tradition mm-hmm. then why are you uh, uh, how can you consider his name hmm. okay you give it but we don't want to participate in that yeah. because there is an ideological difference so it is their uh, choice. wish uh, choice whether they wanted to be in that or not mm-hmm. if you ask that why are you questioned mm-hmm. then they have every liberty to ask that they shouldn't be questioned okay right so what is right uh, that is again uh, you know debatable mm-hmm. uh, thing only thing the so when you are doing something then there shouldn't be uh, that should be logically mm-hmm. accepted right mm-hmm. so people generally ask that why why this much love came uh, uh, and uh, you are announcing this award to tm krishna is there a lot of people and uh, he has not been performing in music academy mm. and there there is n- no good relation between uh, music academy and tm krishna for a long time yeah so then the people who are there with the music academy they definitely ask yeah so that is a thing okay. and apart from that uh, so yeah. as a as a person mm-hmm. so i don't rate uh, how Uh, my music are compared to tm krishna it is i i do, i believe that music is not Define you know uh, it's not about the extravaganza mm-hmm. i feel that um, music uh, music should be measured with the purity okay so and the intent with what you are delivering it mm-hmm. so this is my perception so uh, for me i i like uh few things what tm krishna garu do mm-hmm. and uh, i i don't like a few things and i have a logic for that okay and i <laughs> i i am happy to even debate with anyone okay. on that and i welcome them to debate <laughs> yeah. because even if if i wrong then i will correct that's true so that is the thing uh, uh, yeah he is in the system mm-hmm. and and sometimes uh, he he you know comment on the system negatively mm-hmm. and take the things granted mm-hmm. so those kind of things people may not be liking it yes so uh, for me i don't i am not against uh, uh, either tm krishna garu or madras music academy yeah. i am against the things that are not ethical and legal so i only talk but if they are committed by a particular person generally we take their name mm-hmm. it is not uh, uh, you know attack on a person mm-hmm. okay it is only it is only uh, uh, working on the problem okay so uh, my question is sir uh, for a lot of musicians music is defined in many ways in their own perspective in your words or your definition what does music mean to you yeah i have already defined it <laughs> <laughs> so for everyone something is there to experience the existence yes. i am not even saying that the world yeah so we need to have a tool to uh, so uh, continue our journey That's so true. i f- feel that music is like that for me mm-hmm. to understand myself and to understand the things better yeah. so it's not a performance for me mm-hmm. it's not teaching for me it's not an art for me yes. it's not a, you know uh, something god for me okay so it is an understanding for me okay so it will, it 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 will and uh, at the same time this also taught me that it is not mm-hmm. the only that you only thing that you can experience anything through it mm-hmm. so it's about the devotion towards what you are doing yeah. so that will make you experience the truth yeah. so i or you know accidentally or intentionally or and fortunately or unfortunately we get introduced to that like i got introduced to music yeah, okay. and i have been practicing it yeah. so when you practice like how you how you ch- when you churn that how you get butter Mm-hmm. like when you practice something then you get the finest things of that so that that 
enlightenment will make you understand the truth in the existence yes so uh, even that's that that made me to you know respect everything mm-hmm. even the pe- whatever they do mm-hmm. so if they are doing with that devotion and commitment so mm-hmm. they are the most they must be the most respected people okay so respect of what they are doing mm-hmm. so yeah even the cleaning mm-hmm. if you clean it very nicely yeah. then you feel that they feel the uh, godliness or the truth in it yes that's true sir sir uh, you've been teaching students so what kind of message do you give all the students or you know people who would want to learn music or pursue music in future as well and who are desperately you know looking for you know learning something in music industry what message would you give them no i didn't actually get you this is general question uh, generally asked yes but uh, you know to learn or uh, you want me to give a common message saying that okay if you wanted to get into music then be careful no no no, no, no. <laughs> it's a general question sir like you know every artist gives out a message to their students and you know people who take them as an inspiration so what message would you give no i actually don't uh, just give a message kind of thing yeah. to any students or even to you or to me uh, the first thing i you know appeal to the people make yourself balanced okay so uh, the balance will come to uh, Um, come to you by holistic education so if you are not educated well then your actions may not be balanced okay so to get yourself educated mm-hmm. art is one of the important aspects yeah. like you say that mathematics or science like that art is very very important okay. equally important either for anyone so if you are in school then mm-hmm. if you are learning music learn or music or dance or whatever it is yeah uh, like all, even sports hmm. so uh, if you are in college you could not learn in school learn it okay so if you are an employee you have not learned in your school or college mm-hmm. now you try to learn Okay. and if you are a middle aged person 40 years 45 years mm-hmm. you wanted to learn you try to learn mm-hmm. if you are at 50 60 you wanted to learn please learn okay. if you are at 70 75 you wanted to learn music because you have not you could not learn in the past yeah please learn then everyone will come and ask that ipudu vastunda can i learn now yeah so and the immediate question from me is that if you wanted to eat biryani will you eat or not <laughs> yeah you will just spend 500 rupees and eat it yeah so if you wanted to learn violin first you buy the violin and find a guru and start learning it yeah. you enjoy it you don't think of others what they will feel hmm. and uh, whether they will get uh, uh, you know chills and shivers after listening to your uh, music or they will get corona all those things you don't think it is your interest you have never you have you never uh, uh, you know thought of others when you were driving what other people will think that if i if i don't if i drive yeah so like that if you have wish in your mind try to do it, do it. how great you play that is a different That's story a different at all story, yeah. no every every mother or every person who is cooking cannot be a master chef mm-hmm. or everyone who is writing cannot become a shakespeare yeah that's true so if you have wish to learn something please learn mm-hmm. whether you learn violin or vocal or veena or guitar that is your wish my appeal is you try to learn music or any art form for sure okay. irrespective of your age okay and you know language yeah learn organic things yeah. so if you are in india try to experience indian things so like you know if you if you go to scandinavian countries you have to wear sweater yeah and by looking at that if you also wear sweater in 
uh, Hyderabad in May and go out, then it will not suit. But everyone wearing sweaters and we also wear sweater and say that okay, this is the right, mm -hmm. I, I object that. Yeah. So this is not right, it should be judicious. Some things we have just taken it. Yes. So whatever good, I have taken pant and mm -hmm. wear it from mm -hmm. the West. <laughs> So, I have taken kurta in yeah. India, it's from India, India I am wearing yeah. it. So, what is good? You do it. You it. But try to have the indigenous things in your life so that they are more organic and they are very good for your body and mind okay. and soul. Okay, sir. So, thank you so much, thank you know, you. for giving me your time and, you know, speaking about your journey, yeah, music yeah. and stuff. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you. Thank Lovely. you, uh, the New Indian Express <laughs> and uh, you and... One of, uh, Yognath. I, Yognath <laughs> for uh, you know, patiently hearing yes. to all my uh, words. Thank you, I don't sir. know how sensible I am. <laughs> but no, uh, so we, we got to learn so much about you. Yeah. It was lovely yeah. to meet you and know about you. Thank yeah. you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This is Shreya Veronica signing off. <laughs>